Well, hello, this is Mr. Sam again with another lesson for you. Today, the main part of the lesson will be teaching you uh, how to begin to learn a G chord and how to pick and strum that chord. But as always, uh, we've got to have our guitar in tune. Now, I've got my old Gibson guitar. Uh, I've had this guitar since I was a teenager and I'm 65 years old. So I've had it a long time, about 50 years. Um, it's older than I am. I should call it the grandfather guitar. It's actually an electric guitar, but it works as an acoustic guitar. And it's a fun old guitar. I don't play it all that often, but... Uh... Let's see if we can get Grandpa in tune here, okay? So, does anybody remember what this first string is? Elephants. So that would be what? That's right, E. Next string, always, that would be... A, do, D, grow, G, B, I gave it away, big, and ears again. Sounds like it might be in tune, let's see. I'm going to turn my little tuner on. I take my glasses off for this, I'm what's called nearsighted, that means I can see things near without my glasses. I need them for far away. Now, also, the numbers of my strings, the, the lowest one to the floor is one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to start with my sixth string, which is my elephant string or my E string, and that's a little high, so I'm going to turn, turn my knob towards me a little bit to get it lower. Here, going down lower, and then back up. I turn it away from me on these top three strings. A way for me to get it to go up. You notice I'm hitting it over and over again. It turned green. I'm good. Always A, right on. Do, D. It's a little too high. I'm going to turn it towards me to lower it. D and back up to D. Come on, there it goes. Now, it's the opposite turning on the on the bottom three strings. The first three strings, you turn it away from you to tighten it, but let's see. G is good. Big B. B is good. E, ears is good. But just to show you, if I turn it away from me, Lower, turns it to turn it towards me and it goes higher, bring it back up to E. And I may have said it wrong, but you the lower three strings, the first three three strings, you turn it towards you and it gets higher. The top three strings you turn them away from you. Now, there's something else I'm going to talk about today. Oh, by the way, guess what? There's one type of pick I didn't tell you about. I talked about it in the uh, introduction, but when I was talking about picks the other day, I didn't really show off these, this thumb pick and my finger picks here. I'll just show you them briefly again, because this is a whole other type of pick. We're not going to go into these. Look how this thumb pick, it goes onto my finger like this. And I can just play like this. I'm just wagging my thumb. I can also play it like a flat pick. flat pick. The other thing I've got here, which banjo players use, banjo players use these kind of thumb picks. They also use these finger picks. I'm just wanting to show you because uh, it is something you'll see people doing. But again, we won't get into it in this class. 
These are my finger picks, and I can make a nice little thing like a... with how to play a G chord. I'm going to use my trust.